Welcome to Lost Ruins, a Metroidvania platformer with little waifus in them, with little bounty boobies, little bounty everything. This game is hard as fuck sometimes. And so I decided to actually roll this bitch back because I was just fucking tired of getting my ass kicked by the big green booby chick, <laughs> which we're going to see today <laughs> in this episode, but on the easier difficulty. Uh, so yes, the game is a, it's a platformer. Uh, it is, a, it, the controls are, uh, I, I'm struggling to like the game. I'm struggling. I fired it up so many times and played. I'm struggling to like it because it is just uh, a clunky platformer. Visually, it's amazing. Let's just continue here. You can see I have a million saves. I'm trying all these different things, right? Uh, being that it is a Metroidvania, you can you can explore so many different ways. And I actually, this is my second playthrough, and um, it says, did I say I'm 18% of the way through on the save thing? Is that what it said? I don't believe that to be true at all. Um, hold on, let's take a look at this. Let's see, 11, 15, 18, 16, 19%, 19%, wow, really? Um, but I'm, I've gone like a completely different route. I've met, I've met a couple of different other NPCs and all that. I have a new outfit. You can, you can see him cute little um, uh, swimsuit. Uh, that's actually one of, the, one of the cool things is that uh, when you put on different gear, you actually wear different clothes. Um, now that is so far only, I don't think Amulet, can you actually see Amulet? Oh, I can, oh, I can equip two things. That's right. Uh oh, what I just do? Hold on. Uh, minimum, maximum HP minus 40%. Oh, I see. Um, Amulet of Life. Okay, what does this thing do? Okay, so uh, regenerates one percent. Oh wow, cool. One one HP while wet. Cool. Um, but hold on. Then what? What? What is my health? Oh yeah, twenty. Okay, because it just gives me more HP per tick. Um, so because I'm on any easier difficulty, I actually already have an artifact. The artifact gives me uh, plus one HP per second. Uh, so which makes the game like way, 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 way easier. I thought the mobs would just be a little bit more easy to to deal with, but as it turns out, it's just like the game flat out is just you know you just flat out gives you more health per uh, per second. Um, let's go ahead and actually see nullifies underwater poison damage. Nullify poison attacks from the ground. That's amazing poison resistance minus okay cool um so yeah the problem is like there, there's just there's just a bit of clunkiness to it you know like when i run and jump and when i jump and then hit while moving forward my momentum stops and drops you straight down so that already is kind of weird right i have a shield i can block on the ground i cannot block i can't move or do okay well uh, i cannot do it in the air so i can't like block air attacks in which there are air attacks um and there's just and there's a number of other weapons too you can switch to if you don't want to this is my first time having a shield so i'll just go and switch to the dagger on this and you can see this is just kind of stabby stab stabby stab same same thing though right you just kind of fall uh there are there are boots that you could get which i don't have on this save there are boots that you can get that will allow you to uh, float in the air while you uh, swing you still lose your forward momentum <laughs> which is just so weird you know what you know what his play, the game this game plays like uh, Simon's Quest right it's like it's like a much much more uh, pixel rich version of um, uh, of Simon's Quest that's how it, it plays if you remember in that game whenever you jump up and you hit something I believe you kind of you kind of had this momentum shift or something that would occur uh, it just didn't quite feel particularly fluid I could be misremembering Simon's Quest with maybe Castlevania 1 I'm not sure um, it's been a while since we played those uh, but overall, though, there's a good number of different weapons. You know, there's there, and you could assign. You got two weapons assigned at any given time. So I can have dynamite in one hand, and then a throwing poison bottle in the other, a lightning wand here, uh, and then a bow, uh, a laden jar which has lightning in it. So you can just throw that and just basically just trigger a lightning attack. Um, I have a couple of. I have a freeze, a spark, and a fire bolt, which is uh, all pretty cool. Let's just swap this. Freeze. This might be kind of interesting. We'll just hit left bumper, I think, or right bumper to put that there. So I have uh, Firebolt and Freeze. Upper right corner, you can see those things. Do I have a mouse in this? Oops, okay, I guess not. <laughs> no, I don't have a mouse in this. All right. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, and then, uh, and then, yeah, you have a bunch of, uh, a, a bunch of uh, consumables that you can use. And each one does something a little bit different. Wipes off oil, wipes off water. Now, what is important to do this stuff? Right? Why do you have to worry about wiping off water? Why do you have to worry about throwing water? Why do you have to do, worry about... Um, 
What's his cheese? Uh, why well, have to worry about some of this stuff? It's because of the synergy between certain things. Let me see if there's a uh, there's a good place I can give you an example here. P.S. Just to kind of also show you guys just the pixel art, how beautiful it is. Like the the only thing this game really like um, is impervious to is criticism against the pixel art, in my opinion. So look at her hair, right? And watch when I stand in front of this. Look at this. That's incredible. And this happens all over. Like this is an incredible, simple, simplistic. But still, look at this, and it fades, it fades, and now she's back. It, this is, it's, it's just, it's so simple, like visually, right? It's like such a small thing that makes such a huge difference. We stand in front of this purple. Like it's just dope. If there's glare or something like that, like you could block the glare. I can't really demonstrate here because it moves. But if there's glare, you could block the glare uh, with your character. Um, wait, do I have that uh, poison purifier? Nullifies poison damage. Nullifies poison damage from the ground. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and bust this. Okay, I can't. Okay. Good job. There we go. So I'm standing in poison. Oh, that's awesome, standing in poison. Uh, so watch this. Ooh. What is that thing over there? I'm gonna have to wait. And then I could, uh, maybe I could freeze it or something. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> I thought maybe that would work. What is this thing? A larva or something? Oh, well, well it dropped a five. It a nickel. Cool. Oh, this is not the way we need to go, though. But just so you get an idea, there is, there, 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 there are, uh, you know, um, uh, synergy between different elements and all that good stuff. So you could use that to your advantage if you like. Let me go and go here and then just resave over this. It should refill my health and, uh, yep. Uh, you also have a dodge ability too, uh, which is very important. Let me see, where am I going here? I have, so I've not gone up here, actually. I have a marker here. I don't want to, can I remove this marker? Erase marker, there we go. You sure you want to erase this? Yes. How many markers can I put down? Mm. Mm, uh, uh, uh. You only have one marker down. It doesn't show up anywhere. It doesn't show up on the HUD or anything. It just shows up here. I guess it's just to remember where one thing is at a time. <laughs> I guess. Like, you know, you're this, this is ready to come back to go to blank or something. You have items basically laying around. Broccoli and this, uh, what was the other one? Protein powder, which basically makes me super strong. Okay, we have a couple of mobs here. Let me see if we can, uh... See, I'm immune to what again? Uh, let's see. Poison damage and poison attacks from the ground. Poison resistance and plus one HP while wet. And then this is uh, nullifies underwater lightning damage. Oh, this is gonna be sick. Oh, this is my favorite thing to do right here. Let's get the lightning wand on. And then we'll just stand in here, and we can wait. We can actually hit this because this water's coming down here, and it will trigger the. Uh, oh, that did not work. Did not work. There we go. Um, I, I swear, when you hit that, it will uh, it will trigger the ground thing. But I guess probably not. Oh, oops. Okay, well, that's the dead end basically. Let's go ahead and put this, this is on Y. What is this on? This is on uh, X. Let's go and put this here. Let's get the yeah the dagger. I do like the dagger, nice and fast. That's health right there. But because I have regenerative health because of my um, because I'm a bitch and I'm playing this on recommended. <laughs> Whoop! I didn't think so. Um, yeah, I can't pick them up because I have full health. <laughs> Oh, got some more stuff here. Uh, throwing poison bottle laden jars. We can throw some more lightning if we want to. Let's just go and throw some in here. She's all, meh. She sees me. Well, let's go ahead and just, you know, Oh, she's not dead. Okay, well, she can't hit me from there, so. This guy on. One more time. Now she's gonna dive, I believe. She dives at you, yep. You do have a couple iframes when you're, when you're rolling, as you can see. I don't know how long exactly. I feel like I always fuck it up somehow and end up still hitting, uh, still getting hit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, this guy's over my head. Let's get a hatchet. Because attacking in the air is such a huge bitch. Dang it. No! No! Ah! Turn around. There we go. See? Health. <laughs> a bundle of fire wands. Ooh, good. I think we're actually getting pretty close to where we need to go. Um, to the boss that was kicking my ass on the harder difficulties. I think she's to the right, perhaps. Hmm. So there's a target up there. If I could figure out a way to aim this thing, because I can't aim my spells. So there must be another ability or something like that that lets me aim up. Let's see, throwing poison bottle, lightning wand, arrow, bow. I wonder if the bow and arrow will let me do it? I don't think so. See, look up. I'll hold him. Hold it down. Look up. Nope. <laughs> I can't collect it either. By the way, I just threw that away. <laughs> so let's go in here to this fight. Um, I believe it's right over here. Okay. 
Yeah, everything resets. <laughs> That's kind of annoying. <sighs> ah, here we go, yes. So, we're gonna get a visit from a friend here. She's like, watch out! There's an energy in the next room! You scare me, stop showing up like that. And she's like, look at my boobs, they're so squeezed up together, they look all round. I can sense a powerful aura up ahead, one of the Dark Lady's followers is summoned, you must be close, make sure you're prepared. There we go. Make sure you are prepared. There she goes again. She didn't even wait for me to reply. That's right. I'm gonna go in with my swimsuit here. We're gonna cause a fuss. There we go. I'm just gonna use all the damn save slots. Auto save right there. Makes it a little bit convenient so you don't have to walk from the next room, I guess. Um, <clears throat> now we have to go down and talk to, this, talk to this young lady here. And she is going to be, um, um, no. Well, we found out. Um, hi. Hi! You're wearing the same clothes as me. Were you summoned too? Yeah, our clothes look the same. Wanna be friends? So, your uh, protagonist starts out like they all do. Uh, she started off with, um, uh, she shows up and doesn't have any memory of where she's from. Doesn't know anything, right? Typical amnesia. Friends, sure. Do you remember anything before being summoned? Maybe you knew me? Bum, 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 bum. Slimes! Watch out! Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Ah! Dive! Dive! I know you want to. Oh, out of reach. I got him anyway. Got him. How about you? One shot. Didn't even pay any attention. Snuck up on her. Phew! It's safe now. What have you done? Huh? Why are you mad? What have you done to my friends? Those slimes are your friends? Get it together, they're monsters. You kill my friends. Die. 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 <laughs> she's mad. Um, so she's gonna come at me. Let me see. The lack of music really hurts. <laughs> it's a very ominous game for sure. It almost feels kind of like, like, um, uh, kind of dark, uh, kind of like, I guess kind of, I don't want to say Dark Souls because it's so fucking cliche, but it kind of has that gloomy, just like, there's no, like, um, the atmosphere is kind of like your surrounding areas. There's music in, in Dark Souls, but, uh, and there's music in this, but still, it's, it's mostly at atmospherics, atmospherics. So I'm going to open up with a, uh, a lightning wand because I can do that. Uh, and we'll put that in my main. Oh, and she does when she punches. Oh, she put ancient uppercuts too. Let me tell you, man, this bitch is hard. On normal or whatever. Okay. Here we go. Look at her boobs. They splashed the water. <laughs> uh, look at that. They, they totally splashed the water. It's so weird. Oh, I'm out of my. Um, hold on. Okay, we have to get a little creative here. Light on fire. We need a freezer. Oh, that hurts me. Uh, uh, hold on, I have a consumable that'll help against this. Uh, antidote, the cola. Uh, no, tangy flavor. I should take that, though. Uh, I see water bottle. Uh, I see poison lightning resistance. Uh, Altari, okay. Broccoli. Nullifies bleed damage fighters. Okay, wipes off oil, wipes off water. Uh, poison physical bleed. Okay, I guess I don't. Defense reduced invisibility. Okay, hold on. Okay, yeah, so I don't really have anything to nullify um, this freeze, so perhaps I can just light myself on fire real quick? <laughs> Which, I mean, it's not a bad idea, really. Like, I have a fire wand right here. Let me just put this on, and then I'll just... Shite. But that actually kind of fought it out, look at that. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, damn! Oh, ouch! Okay, hold on. I know it's gonna regen, but damn. Let's see, I have an HP po- Oh, did I not pick it up? Okay, what, really? HP potion, what order is this in? <laughs> sort. Oh, I don't have an HP potion. Well, snap. Okay, let's go eat a bunch of broccoli. We can stack this effect, so if I need 15 health, then I'll just, uh, you know, eat three times. Man, a second. 
Shit. Shit. God, this is a million times easier. I feel I'm embarrassed almost here. She's mad. There she goes. She's gonna come up and she's gonna do that hammer stuff. Whoa! Whoa! Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Burning, 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 burning. Oh, no, okay. Gotta switch to something else. Let me see. I wonder if I can block this attack. I have the health to do it. It's on easy mode. Let me see. We'll go with, uh, let's go with dynamite, man. Okay, try to block. Oh, what? Man, I wish I would have found this shield before. Okay, it's directional. Just care. Oh god. Oh god. Chuck it. Oh, what the? What the? What the? Oh, what the? It fell. <laughs> okay, let's find something else. <laughs> I just forgot. Oh, you know I have magic. I forgot. <laughs> Boss killer. Oh, I still get achievement for that. Okay. Okay, let's see. Slimey Jules. I wonder if she's doing okay. No, she's so mean. I don't miss her at all. Only friends I need are the slimes. Yeah, um... Striped panties, huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, what? What was... What is that? Oh, it's an artifact. Ah. Cool. Yeah, man. Let's just wear this girl's panties. <laughs> There's no way out of here. What now? Ah, it's you. Is there a way out of here? Hold on, I'll help you. Oh, I guess this is the skill I'm gonna learn in a little bit here. The person I just fought was she a follower of the Dark Lady? Yes. Her power was incredible, yet you still defeated her. Very impressive. I lowered the difficulty here, person. Uh, she was wearing the same clothes as me. Do you think she was summoned too? Didn't she change into a giant monster in the end? Yes. At first she looked human when we talked, but then she turned into a giant monster all of a sudden. That was the monster's true form! It only put on a disguise to look human. It must have killed a girl it summoned and took her clothes. Hmm. Oh no, I see. Do you remember anything new? I don't know. I feel like something's coming back, but not yet. Looks like defeating just one follower is not enough to break the seal. I have to face more of those horrible monsters! Unfortunately, but the seal has definitely gotten weaker if you can defeat all the followers your memory will, will return There's our incentive guys. We get our memory back <laughs> Can you tell me how other followers are so I'm not sure I think since uh, I think I sent something from above There must be one in the castle if this person is so powerful. Why does she do it? Oh, she got elf ears, so I guess she's probably not you know a human uh, There must be one in the castle heading this way. I'll uh, head this way. I'll just, okay. Cool. Let's go go to camp Head this way disappears Auto save, give me the health back, give me the MP back. Throwing oil bottle, ooh, ooh. Okay, so this is, again, another area that I will be able to access once I get... Uh, oops, okay, yep. Uh, once I get the ability to make the uh, steps, unless... Okay, shame. Shame. Oh, what the, what on earth is this? Oh boy. See fair, you must cast anchor and more. What? Hello. Fortunately, you have not found yourself adrift in perilous waters as of yet. Perilous waters? Yes, waters of peril. Once a soul is corrupted by evil, it may never again sail upon a quescent ocean and travel tranquilly towards a celestial sore. Shore. Dang it. Uh, evil will entice even the vigilant. Be that as it may, we must prevail against our ignoble foes. Okay. Evil, how can we win against the evil? We must triumph over one's earthly desire. Oh, I'm so over this person. Uh, earthly desires, greed, cov the covetousness of riches which belong to others, the audacious avarice of what's, what's oh my god, I can't read this stuff. Come on. <laughs> I've collected so many things on the way here. Does that mean I've become a corrupted soul too? Why have you prized upon the gleaming golden casket with your cupidinous fingers and peered upon its prized possessions? Golden casket? 
I don't think I've ever opened anything like that. That's correct, I have not. We just we just saw one in the other room, though. And so it is. You are not in perilous waters. Your virtuous vessel has remained unassailable to this very day. But should your voyage veer towards a golden casket, steer sternward and flee. The cornucopia of opulence within the golden casket will beckon you. Yield not to its beguiling allure. Okay, I'll be careful. Heed my words. Do not open the golden casket. Well, bitch, I'm gonna open that the first chance I get because there's, there's treasures in there. Oh, this seems like a, this is like a, a pixel art issue. I doubt she's supposed to always have her back to you. Um, gotta flip that art, son. <laughs> What's over here? Oh, look at this! Tempting. Oh, what is this? Must be the next boss. Look at her. You witten it, you dare spree. Aha, die! Oh. The pixel art is so good. You'll be so on her belly. You'll be so delicious. Decid Decidious, actually. So here's a, here's the thing here. There we go. Fire rune, rune stone. Let's see what that is. Um, runes. Da -da -da -da. Fire rune. Uh, casting speed slower. Rune expel that sets a fiery trap for enemies. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and equip that into the secondary so that freeze. Uh, and then a rune stone. Uh, rune, rune spell casting speed and rune. Oh wow! Hmm. Nullify his rune spell damage. So we put that on. Oh, we, oh sorry. We have three things equipped now. Cool, 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 cool. There's a lot of lore and everything too. You can read through. Lammy was the that was the boss that we were um um just fighting, and it kind of goes through like you know how she is uh um you know, kind of, I guess, slowly turning into, turning into madness or something. So not necessarily what that other girl was doing. Now, I'd open up a, a casket here. If I come back here, is she gonna wanna fight? Oh, <gasps> she's gone. We will meet again, stranger. Maybe. I'm actually not sure. I've never been this far. <laughs> What's over here? Explorer, ooh, look at this thing. A lot of these things are actually, um, what do I have in my hands? A throwing oil bottle? Let's not do that. A ray wand, whoa. Yeah, let's get that. Sick. Drop some money. Okay, that's not enough. Oh, never mind. Pop this switch and we go on through and we can save it right over here as long as we don't fall through this thing, whatever this is. Oh, how funny. This is the way that I came through previously and I got stuck. Crazy. So these portals, you can just portal. This is standard, very, very standard uh, Metroidvania stuff. You know, you can explore all over the place and then lets you uh, uh, kind of quick travel to other locations, other portals. Um, we could see that there are areas that have, you know, uh, like over here, like to the left. I'm willing to bet that that's probably uh, a, an unscalable wall based off of my current build and uh, a skill set. And there's other areas too that's kind of the same way. Things you just can't, you just can't climb it because you just don't have the skills to do it. And over here, this is where we just came from. We did the boss here, we came over here, and we saw that treasure chest at the top, we couldn't reach it. Um, and so there's also an opening over here that goes to another area. So this is very, very standard on uh, Metrovania stuff where you're, you're gonna do a lot of backtracking. Uh, there's multiple ways to get places. Um, uh, let me see, is anyone here? No, it's not. Uh, the vending machine here, this allows you to... Actually, first before we do that, let's go ahead and... Oh. No, we don't want to get that. There we go. Get the money out of there. There's always money hiding in things. And then here, you could go through and you could sell stuff. So if you have a lot of stuff that you're just, like, not using, like these laden jars, like, I'm not using them. Like, really pretty much ever. So I would just kind of sell those. One, two, three, four. Eight each. Uh, throwing oil bottle. It could have come in handy. Uh... Throwing poison bottle could be coming handy. We'll just keep one of each. Uh, the hatchet, dagger, bow. Just three different style weapons that could come in very handy. Um, freeze and spark. I wonder if we should get rid of one. Or we're just keep them both. It's 24. Lots of consumables. I could get rid of a ton of stuff because I don't have to worry about health in this in this save. So a lot of these things that are like plus 5 HP or whatever. It's kind of like, okay, you know, 5 HP, 5 MP. It's like, meh. It could. I mean, it's, it restores MP, so I'll probably keep that. 
Um, actually, does my MP re restore too? No, I don't think so. So like this, right? I'm not going to use it. Just not going to use it. Uh, bread, not going to use it. Broccoli, probably not going to use that at all. Uh, carrots, one and one. Now let's get rid of it. And then cheese. Yeah, the benefits of, of playing on easy mode, really, is what this is. Um, and I did this because I did not want to go through this entire experience again on hard mode because it was such a bitch. Uh, <laughs> see, a mysterious aura surrounds this amulet. What is this? Regenerates one and minus... Okay, you know what? I can just get rid of this here because... Um, because, yeah, I want the money. And then I take this money, I turn around, and I can buy a bundle of fire wands. A bundle of five fire wands. Um... Why does it say 10? Oh, okay, they have 10, so I can get 50. Wow. Dynamite, they have 10 dynamite, 10 fire wands here. Uh, is it just a better deal? Oh, it is, look at that. It's uh, buy, buy four, get one free, basically, because 40 each. And then a 160 will get you five. Wow, hey, what a slamming deal, man. <laughs> and then down here you can buy some more stuff. I'm not gonna buy anything. Uh, actually, I'll buy some arrows. We could, we could like, you know, shoot arrows. Um, let's see, get six for the price of five. Oh, this one actually says what the price is. <laughs> uh, let's see, I have 239 gold. So let's go and see what kind of armor they have. Uh, leather armor, physical resistance, amulet of life. Let's see, now I can only equip if I equip if I buy one of these. I can only equip this in a slot, and I have to get rid of something else like the bathing suit or something, right? Um, let me see, one-handed damage, weapon damage plus 50%, one-handed one -handed weapon speed. Whoa, that's pretty sick, actually. I'm doing a lot of, um, but no, let's not do that. These are also different from the last time I was, uh, I came around, so the items have actually shuffled some. Huh. That's a little bit more, um, reminiscent of a, uh, roguelike more than anything. So you see there's an opening up here? Yeah, one of these days I'll be able to go through there and find something? I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and grab this. Oops, let's grab this. Let's move back to... Let me see. Where can I go? Actually, I don't know where to go now. <laughs> it's the farthest I've been. You know, I think this is probably good. Let's do this. I want to do this. I want to go back and play the save that uh, that kicked my ass here. Um, oh, crap. Which one was it? Uh, let's see. 9.35 a.m. It's probably this one. Yeah, no, accessible. Recommended. Yeah, accessible. Recommended. Yeah, recommended. This is the one that kicked my ass here. Uh, is, do you want to override? Oh, no, I don't want to save. Okay, hold on a second. We'll save here. Save, and then what I'll do is I'll so load, kind of right over it. Mm, yeah, right here we go. So this should get me... Yeah, here we go. Again, like, I'm, I'm far less prepared. I have no HP regeneration. Um, I am going to go ahead and... Do I actually have anything that I can uh, eat, consume for this? Let's see, broccoli. Yeah, let's go and broccoli it up. And then uh, energy drink, uh, ointment, water bottle. I just don't really have the stuff that I need to really survive this, but we're gonna try it anyways. Let's see, slingshot. Yeah, slingshot. That's what I wanted. Throwing weapon damage, hundred uh, plus hundred percent. Um, the winged shoes. Here we go. These are the things that you can get that will allow you to jump and attack, and you'll see in the air. So like this. Hi. Well, what? <laughs> How's that different from this? Hold on. Yeah. So you just fall straight down. This is basically no difference. Look at that! You flow for like a second. The longer weapon, the longer your weapon uh, swing is, the longer you stay in the air. So, so here's what I've been doing: cheese this because it's maybe the only way I could survive this. Uh, I put this in my secondary, right? And then I come over to um, let me see. Do I have a health? How much do I have full health? I don't. Let's see health, plus strength, poison, poison, physical. Okay. Um, for instance, I'm slowing down, reduce. Okay, okay. There was something else I forgot to put on here. Lightning resistance. Here we go. Minus fifty percent. No, hold on, that's bad. <laughs> that's bad, that's the opposite of what I want. Uh, let me see, okay, so there's nothing else I could necessarily do to prevent myself from taking damage here in a second. And that's fine, that's fine. Okay, so we talked to her again. Now these guys show up. Then what I do is I jump. Oops, jump, gosh. Dang it! <laughs> All right, we'll try a different strategy. Different strategy. Let's get the uh, rusty knife. Rusty knife. Okay, we're good. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and we'll eat the broccoli, and we'll. Uh, b -b 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 How long is this? Twenty-four second effect. Okay, cool. Uh, weapon damage. Here we go. So this is what we'll do. We'll jump down with this. And then, yeah, and then we're gonna lure them over here. Come over here. Come over here, come over here. Once you get him pinned in the corner, you can just stabby stab. That takes care of him. Come here, come here. 
There we go. Okay, so now she'll be mad. She start chasing me. And this we get to actually fight her. I think it's actually where it gets hard. Jeez. Oh my god, the blast! Oh, the blast radius. Son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, again, broccoli. Uh, bleed resist fizzled in. Okay, might as well go and take that. Next three hits. Okay, yep. Here, come, here they come, here they come, here they come, here they come. Perfect, stay there. There we go. I've done this fight so many times. <laughs> it took a lot of learning of like, yeah, because she's pretty fast. Like, she's really fast, their attacks. So I get some distance here. Okay, she's still too close. Yeah, jumping over here is no, no, no bueno. Blast with anything is no bueno. I kind of got to get in there and just try to get some hits in. Yeah, she uppercuts. <laughs> it can be done. It can be done. I have done it. I've gotten to the third phase, which is the um, the flying or the, the the giant booby monster. Okay. I wish there was like music or something, you know. Here, dodge this. Good. God damn. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, that's cool. <laughs> that's enough. So, yeah, playing it on, uh, on recommended, it just, it just feels like it's, it's a little too clunky of a, um, of a platformer for me, for me, right? Uh, it's funny playing it on the, the accessible or whatever, like that, I, I really don't like, I'm not sure if I'm, if I'm really liking the, the HP regen, uh, but I think that's probably the only way that it makes it easier is just your, your HP just regens all the time and that makes it the whole game easier. Um, but it does feel like that fight was a little bit, maybe it was easier. It's kind of really hard to tell. Also, like, replaying actually gave me an assortment of new things that I have not, I didn't discover the first time around, so that was kind of fun. Uh, it really did feel like two different experiences, the two different routes that I went. Uh, eventually having overlap where I was, you know, coming across the same tiles that I was in pre my previous save. Uh, but yeah, it's, this is, it's, it's a Metroidvania for folks who, you know, uh, are into that really, really old style of movement. It's a beautiful game. All we saw here was like dungeons and such, but there's a there's a brief moment in the beginning of the game where you're outside and you get a kind of a good look at what what the other biomes in the game could offer uh, as you as you continue. Um, but yeah, pixel art wise, fantastic. Animation wise, great. Uh, movements and pla actual platform ability. Uh, it's struggling a little bit. Um, and story-wise, too, it's like, you know, there's a lot of stories, a lot of lore here. It does start off kind of pretty cliche. Uh, you want to figure out what, what got to get her memories back, right? <laughs> Just like every other game. Uh, so yeah, that's a tough call there, but, you know, there's a game out there for everyone. This one is just barely not quite for me. So thank you so much for watching. My name is Mike BAK Phony. You can check out Lost Ruins right now, $19.99. I will see you guys later.